Okay, so quick message, the Trey Norwood, Isaiah Lauder Milk, and Dan Moore film sessions will be coming. Okay, these videos take time, so just be patient with me. Also, enjoy the video, like, and subscribe, and let's go. Let's get into this. Okay, so Shakir Brown, I like this guy a lot. I can see why the Steelers picked him up. Very instinctive cornerback. Probably should have been picked over a lot of guys in the draft. But let's get into this right here, top of your screen, number 29. This is going to be, you know, a little hitch by the wide receiver, so it's nothing too big. But watch how he reads the quarterback and instantly jumps on it, right? When I talk about his instincts, they're pretty good ones as well as he goes up and breaks up that pass. Now, the thing with him is sometimes he'd play the ball a little too much more than just playing his man, and that would lead to him giving up some catches and some big ones as well. But other than that, he has some really damn good coverage right here. He can also stick his nose in the run game, right? I mean, he's not like Mike Hilton or anything like that. I'm not proclaiming that he is, but you know, he can step up and make a hit. That's part of his game. And you know, they used him in some blitz packages at Michigan State. I don't think he'll be used in that role with the Steelers. Again, this is just him jumping that hitch route, basically just stopping it before it even starts. And the wide receiver is really just lucky to even catch this ball. Good coverage right there now right here is just him being super physical just stopping this wide receiver before you know he can even make a move right with his hands and just pressing them up right this wide receiver goes absolutely nowhere and you love to see this he's not the biggest he's not the strongest but you know he's gonna get physical with you and this is kind of jc horn like right just using your hands this is another good example of his coverage right this wide receiver runs an outbreaking route he attacks it from the inside though but shakir brown stays disciplined maintains his leverage and completely straps him up if i'm being honest and he would do this to him the whole game right they caught two receptions on him, and those were just lucky jump balls and mostly Shakir Brown not playing the wide receiver as much as he should. But right here, the ball skills as well, getting his head turned around, and the moment the quarterback really threw that ball, he was eyeing it, right? So he turned into the wide receiver on that play, and I think with Terrell Edmonds now having his fifth-year option decline, he can at least, at worst, play safety for you because, again, very instinctive, good ball skills, and good coverage. And if anything, he's the exact opposite of Terrell Edmonds, who, you know, struggles with his coverage. But I am super excited for this undrafted free agent pickup. It's probably the best one for the Steelers. In fact, yes, it is. Now, right here, he gets beat off the line right the wide receiver gives him a jab to the outside and he goes with him as well but the impressive thing for me is how he recovers right because he's just so damn fast that he's not going to get beat vertically now a lot of people are going to come in here and say oh he ran a 461 at his pro day he does not run a 461 when he's on the field listen i've been the captain of the track team it does not matter when you're on the field what 40 time you run running takes no skill but when your adrenaline is really pumping on that field you run a really different 40 time i can guarantee you that but right here is where he needs to work on his game here he thinks the wide receiver is going to that outside because they've been running fades all game but he cuts back to that inside running that slant and completely gets him off balance now he really just needs to stay more disciplined right he tries to play him to that outside but last second he makes his move and you know shakes him but fortunately for him that qb couldn't get it off on time because of the pressure now right here is the thing that i talked about earlier in the video right you don't always gotta play the ball you just gotta bat it down sometimes right you're in perfect position you had really good coverage throughout this whole play. Just don't give it up now, right? So that's what I talked about. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dan Moore video coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.